All right, hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Alan Wake's American Nightmare, Part Eight. So pre it's pretty, it's uh, pretty, pretty nice, pretty gnarly. Uh, we're getting close to the end, so let's do this. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time. I really hope it's the, the man final time. Feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon he knows he will have what he needs. Yep. So the first. You know, each time I'm getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer now, a little bit closer now. Uh, so, all right. So the last part of that, last part of that, might have had to get cropped out. But anyhow. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary coolant flow. With some luck, you may be able to light the area before these things even show up. Okay then. Uh, but we know we can go in here. We can get some... Well, I guess we can't get that ammo. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else in here, so... We're gonna... We're gonna head right back out. Uh, primary coolant flow... I thought that was... Yep, that's in here. Wait, why can't we unlock that? I guess it unlocks after I defeat all these guys. God, the recoil on this is insane. Alright. Oh! Hi! There we go. Oh god. Oh god. I did not even see him come up on me. What the hell with his comeuppance? Sit down, boy. Alright. Onward we go. Use this. Oh god. Uh, hopefully that's not killing me. Okay. I'll be right there after I take care of these murder things. I got I got some murder to take care of, so I'll be there in a minute. All right. So there should be the ammo crate up here. Why am I running so? There we go. All right. Um, thirteen out of sixteen. So I'm only missing three pages. So. I'm, I was missing three pages from the last one, so they might only be available on Nightmare. Maybe there's like three available in each. Oh, I can't get back over there. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Um, unless I can scoot back down the other side, I'm kind of screwed. If it's over there, then I have no chance of getting it. Oh god. Come on, come on. Enough of your comeuppance. There we go. There was a- oh, there it is. It's right on the rock there. Alright, let's go grab this, let's go grab this. There we go. Oh, we got two. Okay, we got two we didn't. The film noir poster reminded me of Alex Casey. The detective's cool exterior never cracking even with the gun pointed in his face. In the back room, all the lights had been turned off, except for the lone spotlight which illuminated the bright red fire extinguisher on the wall. Okay, so this is, so this is the part that I got from here last time. So this is the, so Phil Noir poster on the wall, the back room, all the lights, um, the spotlight illuminated on the red ex fire, uh, fire extinguisher. Okay. So that's the new reality that I got from the, the satellite image. This act of creation is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. Ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow or go insane. Huh. So that brings up a good point. Like, is what we're, is what we're really experiencing here 
is that real? Is that is that a real cosmic truth? Ah, oh, this this game makes you think. It's awesome. All right. Anyhow, um, I wanna, I will. Oh, well, I guess I'm not getting up that way. So they they put roadblocks in your back. So I might have had to go. Oh, they're not giving me health. Oh, this is a salty run back if I ever did see it. Come on. Reloading. Alright. Uh, maybe if I could drop down the mountainside. Okay. So, there are some... We need 40. Hola. blowing some people up all right uh so if we could get it then yeah hello there hola i got nine bolts left in this gun All right. There we go. Oh, it's a poltergeist. All right. Let's clip that out. Let this reload. There we go. We can return to Dr. Meadows, but there is a page over here we want to get. All right. The man before Dr. Meadows was handsome and slick. He moved with lazy confidence and didn't bother to pretend that he wasn't staring at her. She didn't mind, at first. Then the man flicked open the knife and shoved her out of the control room so she wouldn't hear the signal, Oof. whatever it was. Outside, she pulled her lab coat closed and thought about running. She didn't. She didn't think she'd get very far. Not from him. She never was entirely sure why he spared her. Hmm. That's a good point. Why? And then new reality is what I the, the final part. So we got everything. But from here, we... Wasn't there another weapon case we could possibly... I guess not. Oh, we're not going that way. So, yeah, the only page left is from her. What we get from her. So, let's pick up some assault rifle ammo. Switch on over. We can pop one mag in. Hello. Hola. Thank you. We'll click it on. Oh, that's different. Uh, we won't bother listening to it. Uh, I said she installed the thing, uh, and we're ready to watch some uh, watch some TV right now. Oh god. Okay, this is probably copyrighted. This is most likely copyrighted. Oh, you don't want to mess with me, boy. We fell. Swipe on over. Oh! I was wondering why the music didn't go away yet. Is that it? No. Oh. Oh, this is good. Yeah, there's no way this, this is copyrighted music. There we go. Where are they spawning from? Uh, 
Okay then. There I have it. But I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the laws of physics in my observatory. <laughs> That's just rude. Are you that... right? I I don't know. Dad, I'll send the lift down to you. I remember our previous encounters very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. So that also does bring a good point. If this was really time loop like we thought it was, yeah, that is true. We would be re replaying the same moment over and over, so we would never know that the moment happened. We might have a sense of deja vu, but that's it. 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Maybe, just a little. Maybe you've never met hardcore physicists. Oh. I'm glad you I, have I really haven't. Spirits, but signal! Yes, it's completed. Finally. If all goes well, this should be the last time we go through the Oh, that means we're, you know, we're I not going to see them again. I don't have any memory of what happens after you leave. What does that mean? Oh. I don't think it means anything. If everything goes well, you just keep going. I don't show up here like this again. No more bad guys. Things go back to normal. Let's hope you're right. I'd love the opportunity to look into this in more detail. Looks like you've accepted the situation. I'm a pragmatist. If this is a delusion, at least my first psychotic episode is anything but boring. Really, Mr. <laughs> Wake, at the end of the day, I'm a scientist. I love mysteries. I love not knowing. Whatever else this might be, it's absolutely... Well, anyhow. In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed is with his own words. And when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. The final confrontation. Whew. Well, anyhow, guys, that's going to wrap it up until the next time, which it looks like it might be the final episode. That's kind of sad. Well, let's watch the cutscene. Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, oh, there's one. he doesn't show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. Actually, you know what? We'll 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 keep running it. Um, what I want to do is actually I want to observe a tree. I'd found her film from the pile of containers in the back. I threaded it into the projector. I swallowed hard, staring at the screen, hearing her voice. The sunrise I remembered so well only moments away. And then Mr. <laughs> was there, nailed by the projector's beam, caught in his own trap. He shouted at me, first in confusion, then rage. And then the sun came up, and things started to burn. Ooh, so it looks like that's the end. All right, but we got, we're missing a lot of pages. All right, well, I saw one of them. So I'm going to keep going, actually. I was going to wrap this up, but... Oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? How did he know? Oh, my God, he just... He just took all of my health. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna read this. Real the dark quick. place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Probably become a taker. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. Day in quotations. But I've learned to take care of myself. So is night. I focus on Alice, our Aww. life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. The flashlight. This is my flashlight. There are many, but this one is mine. All right, there we go. There we go. But holy crap, he took a lot. Oh god. Get wrecked. Alright, I wish I had like a m big map where I could tell kind of like, oh, okay, you yeah, know, this is where everything is actually in reality. Alright, well, let's heal up. Let's go into the back. There is nothing over here, still. But this will loop us into the back where we need to go anyway. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. Oh 
God, the way I jerk around when I fire this thing. Alright. Eat lead! With two bullets left. Alright, let's swap on over to our SMG. It might have been a little bit better to swap to the SMG, but originally to, to just save some some ammo conservation. But I'm sure we'll be able to get some back eventually. Yeah, we just go up here and we got some ammo straight away. Alright, let's go. Let's loop around. Alright, so we learned from the last time we were here that doesn't exactly work out as we think. Okay, so there's that, there's that. Okay, so we gotta figure out what, maybe all three of them are gonna be up now. Since this is the final point. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Nope, okay. Uh, maybe this one's down? No. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. And let's try this one up. I really don't know if I was supposed to, like, actually know how to do this. Alright, we'll put this one. We'll put the middle one down again. We'll see if it's just like the first time. Kind of a rehashing. Alright, try putting this down. Wait, this just blinks continuous. That blinks green as well. That blinks green as well. How about this one? That one blinks, blinks green as well. So... That third one... Okay, so down, down, up, we'll try. We'll try this. There we go. Okay, so there is kind of a... You look at the... I just got lucky those first two times. This is different. This this different setup than last time. All right. Wait, but the the same physics apply. There's no any. Oh, there we go. Oof. So much death. I could have just shot that gas canister. It would have been fine. Alright, onward we go. Alright. Here we are. Let's try to get some ammo. I feel like there's a reason why that one is boarded off. I don't know. But I hear enemies, so we're going on the right path. You're never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! Oh, I thought he was gonna say my kid. I would've been like, Whoa. another definitely copyrighted song. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Alright, there's one down. Two down. There's another guy up there. If you guys know what this song is called, let me know. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. Oh. oh. There we go. If you guys know, I'm assuming that name is just like Psycho or something like that. Something pretty easy. Uh, sure. I mean, we already had an assault rifle, but why the hell not? Let's let's grab it again. Oh, uh, we could try to go to the souvenir place. Oh. Oh God. 
think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. Reloading. There's a manuscript page over there. We're gonna work our way back over there. There we go. Make sure there was nothing behind me. There we go. Pick up the manuscript. When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. Mm. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Mm. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that mm. escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. Was he just playing a part, or was he like really into that? Was he into that kind of kinky stuff? I don't know. Can't say I've ever tried it myself. Uh, I was always told, "Don't knock it until you try it." And so, yeah. All right. Uh, there's a pitch over here. All right. There we go. It's obvious that for all his power. Mr. Sp is an agent of another greater being. The dark place he came from is full of terrible alien intelligences, dark presences, and none of them should be let loose in our world. He serves one of them. He'll open the way for them if I don't stop him. But he'll do more. He'll take over my life. He already has my face. He already uses my name. He'll become Alan Wake in every way imaginable and corrupt everything. Unless I can stop him. Okay, but can you really stop something that you can't fight? That is the big question. All right, let's see if we can climb this hill. Otherwise, we we'll have to loop it. Or we'll have to loop around. Ah, we can we can do it. It's, it reminds me of Skyrim. The annoying gl the weird jump glitch. All right, there was one over there we got. Uh, we have to refill on some ammo. All right. Uh, I just want to run back around and just before I take care of the story mode, I just want to make sure. Uh, just I just want to take a quick look around, make sure I'm not missing anything too interesting. Uh, we'll avoid that because we don't need it. Uh, before we fight the final boss, uh, there we go. Got some of that. Sawed off shotgun for. Nah, that's a two round. That's a two round guy. The fuck was that? There's one page up here. Yeah, because we didn't get to start off here, which was weird. All right, come on. There we go. Right along here. Grab this. And I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters, followed by the title. It was a time capsule. Moments snatched from times gone by. From a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation. Our salvation. Our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about. Something I could put to good use. There were only moments left before I had to face him. I didn't get... I didn't get it, though. I didn't... It said it uh, in the... One from the observatory, it said it would be in the back alley or back garbage can or something I'm still missing five pages focusing the beam is gonna be the last one I assume uh, let me go talk to her and see if there's any ah there's one over here uh, but where over here looks like it's on the other side of the screen wait I just saw a glint there it is over there all right, so in the last part when I came back here, uh, I, I did say like, who knows? There might it might be over there might be a piece over here. There's open area with no reason for it. The clothes I wear now I shaved from dreams and memories. It's an old <laughs> outfit originally from the 90s. I'm the a 90s last kid. I wore it was so. when I was still riding, and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party, and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes, worn and comfortable. Alice made a joke about grunge. I felt a little embarrassed, but I stuck with them. <laughs> we were very happy. 
I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. That's so good. He's so head over heels with her. I know I've said it in the last one, or one of the last episodes, but he is so head over heels with her. That's so awesome. I'd love to see that. Alright. Uh. Reloading. I mean, we didn't particularly need anything. Self, but. Click this on. Uh, so we we should save her. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain. Ugh. A sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. That's not bad. Stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. Hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. Looks like he's hitting on her. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. Yeah, I know. A lot of that Tell me about it. Time, but being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well... Oh, she has a box around her. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. What? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. <laughs> and anyway, you're friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Alright, is that it? That's all I can do? So I can pick up these flares, and we are good to go. Uh, so we are down to four more pages. Uh, hopefully, which I can find during the drive through scene, hopefully. I do have to do the wells, and then I can take my time and kind of look around and kind of process. I, I did get one back by the projectors. I could look in the house and see if there's one. What? You think whatever it is you're going to do is going to make a difference? So this will end up just like before! Just let me try it then. Alright. So... Oh, there's four dark fountains this time. Alright. Flashbang! Oh, this time they don't go away. Ow, son of a bitch. Ow, son of a bitch. Alright, there's that. I can click these out. There we go, there's two. But, oh, third one's right here. There we go. There we go. There's three. The last one should be behind. I would think. Yep, there we go. There we go. Four of them are done. Yay! So hopefully that should cut the darkness. Hopefully that should leave them all away. Uh, there is that random house in the distance. There's a page right here. Yay. So there might be one at that house. I have created the weapon that can put an end to this. A blueprint to a new reality. All I have to do is survive long enough to use it. My arrival from the dark place will be painful and oh. difficult. These pages may be lost. But one way or another, From I'll the dark send the place. parts I really need to myself. If I make it outside, I have a chance. Mr. S*** is more powerful than I am, but he can't change the rules in the middle of the game. He's not a creator. I am. So does that mean I can get out of here? But you said that it was almost impossible. The only things that can get out were thoughts and dreams and stuff. I don't know. This is... This is complex. This is too complex for my two pound... My three pound gray matter. 
Hey, there is another one up here. And there's some ammo as well. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy likes. Alright, I uh, can't carry any more of that. The trap Mr. has set for me is as simple as it is impossible. Whenever I reach him, he sends me back to the beginning of the maze. It's a loop in time. I go through it only to end up where I started. There's a brutal genius to it. If I die, it's over for me. If I survive, I end up where I started. Sooner or later, the odds will catch up with me. And in the meantime, he gets to toy with me. Mm. But that's why I have a chance. He's caught in this pattern just as much as I am. I know where he'll be, and I'm prepared. Uh -huh, okay. So I, I am able to kind of figure stuff out. So I'm now missing two pages. Focusing the beam and the grenader. So the grenader, I'm assuming I get in part one, maybe two. There's no way I get it in this one. So I am missing a couple parts pages from part one and part three. So I can always uh, go back and grab them later on. But I'm going to go and do the thing now. As much as I can. Alright, here we go. I went around the building and I didn't see any... I don't know. Well, here we go. Here. Again, the champion of light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. The new reality. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. All right, so the first one is it's in fall, or is it almost at the end of summer. Next is it's late in the evening. Next is it's film noir. Next is the lamp. All right, the last one is to put the film Alice's reel. All right, we got Alice's reel of film. We got to put it in the machine, wherever that is. I think it's up here, maybe? Yep, there we go. Maybe? There we go. Put it right there. There we go. This is it. Do I go out or is that it? The screen is turning black. Oh, come on, buddy. Achievement unlocked. Rewrite reality for the last time. What? What is this? Not gonna lie, with as powerful as he was, very anticlimactic. But I guess that's kind of how the real world is. It's not as climactic as a story, as a book, or as a movie. It's just is real it, life. Is it really you? It's really me. If you guys can't make out what they said because the music was really loud, they said I love you. Which, with the kiss, that sounds pretty, seems pretty obvious. So... <sighs> A man. Two lovers. Held apart for far too long. Enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. Both feel it. He's home at last. Are these actual events or merely a dream? A memory or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place far, far away. On from uh, Night Springs. Oh, from Night Springs. Wow. So that that did give us closure. 
That was an eight. That was an eight-part series. It could have been nine. Can we? Sk okay, I wanted to skip that because I didn't want to get copyrighted even more than I've already been. But wow, that was awesome! I don't know why people gave that a bad review. That's so good. We finally got closure after freaking 38, 30 plus episodes. We finally got closure. I really liked it. I thought that was a really good time. Unfortunately, we couldn't get all of the manuscript pages. Uh, we missed one, two, three in the first one. Second one, we got all of them. And third one, we missed two of them. Weapon-wise, we got... We didn't get to unlock the combat shotgun, but we could have. Handheld flare. Or did we? I don't remember. Anyhow. Uh, let's see, videos, Night Springs, there's a music video, oh my god, that's awesome, I'm sure it's going to get us copyrighted, so I'm not going to play it, but if you want, go check it out, uh, radio shows, our lines are open, Eddie, Serena, and Alice, Alice talks about week, oh, so these give more looks into the story, so I missed three of them. But wow guys, that's really cool. There's an arcade action, which I don't know what it is. I still have to get the last five pages and the last three uh, radio shows, which I might do on my own. I don't know. I kind of want to go for the 100% completion. But anyhow guys, thank you for watching. This has been Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.